So I'm gonna just uh, give a small demonstration of how to use Discord. It's a new voice chat that we're trying to use in the group. Uh, Raina currently has a team speaker which she pays for. So I came up with this as an alternative for, well, a free method of talking and it has a lot of benefits to it which you don't get in TeamSpeak. So I'm gonna just run through the basic how to join and how to navigate through. Um, so just a basic overview. The first thing I would say is download the Discord app, verify your email address. Those are the two steps that you need to do first. And then your download should probably appear on your desktop. I don't have icons on. So you open your Discord and it comes up here. I would suggest pin it to the to the star bar or something if you use it often, just like you might do TeamSpeak. You see I've got my TeamSpeak pinned there and things that I often use. Now, when you log in, uh, this is obviously after you've logged in for the first time. I've used this multiple times. I use this often. The first screen you see is your friends list and the people who are online. So these people are currently have Discord open. So you can see straight away who's playing what games. Uh, and, and you can chat to them and do whatever you want. Um, and you have your messages here on the side. So these are all the messages that you have with people. Just PMs in Discord. Now on the left here, where my mouse is, you can see... A list of these these circles are the servers that you belong to so at the top there you should see one that says PNLS with the little PNLS uh, picture and any other servers that you're in of course as well so you click on that and it puts you into the server the first thing you'll see is the general text chat which is just a, a way for us to talk to each other and a list of rooms now you got all these different rooms to join and they're all categorized down the side here so obviously I, I will see admin chats because I'm on the admin um, but the, you will do you, you'll see these same rooms I've ordered them in kind of a, a way that makes sense so you've got all the BP rooms here just like TeamSpeak there's the chill room some base hitting rooms a room for hitting megas somewhere we can talk about builds and somewhere we can prep raid targets for people in in privacy and without overstepping on other people's conversations we have our player rooms with Snowman's Igloo, of course, and Magic's Room. Um, there's a few rooms for other games, so those of you who still play World of Warships, I know a few of us have started playing Siege together. And then there's some music rooms where you can go into and just chill out, listen to some music. Um, I won't touch on that on the video because it's quite complex, but I have I have got some, some AIs, some bots, and you can drag them into the room using certain commands and, and request certain music to be played. Um, that's way complex and not what the video is for this is just basic videos so how you join a room um, is really simple you just click once onto the room you want to join in and it'll throw you in and you know you're in because it says voice connected and you can see when I'm talking I'm lighting up green so that's a way to tell you that, that your voice is coming through so it's good to know and um, make sure that you don't have your sensitivity really high and we'll talk about how to change that soon but if i was breathing really heavily and you could be and, and it wasn't i was picking me up you would see that lighting up when i'm not talking so it's a good indication there that you might need to turn your sensitivity down or add a push to talk to change rooms you just click into all the channels as simple as that it's really easy um afk room you can't speak in there so you see i'm not lighting up it's automatically muted me and the same for the lobby, or bot from admin. Maybe I should have thought about that before. Um, put myself in AFK, so if someone joins, I don't start talking to them. So the first thing you'll see at the top here is text channels. Different to TeamSpeak, you have text channels and voice channels. On TeamSpeak, you would have had the, uh, the, the chat box at the bottom. So you've got different different things here. Uh, the first one is just a general this is just a normal general chit chat room where you can just talk to people it's a good place to talk and try and troubleshoot if your mic's not working just you know type here hey i can't hear you guys and all this stuff and just just random things that, that we that we're discussing while we're in while we're in discord similar to as you would on teamspeak and then we've got all these other rooms um these are just text rooms so if you're in a room say i'm in chill room here and i'm talking to people here and i'm i'm in the thing if I wanted to post a build or look at a build, I'd click on that text channel and you see the text channel changes, but I don't move 
I'm still talking to the same people, so it's really it's really simple to use. And you you can scroll up and down this with your mouse, with your scroll wheel, or you can click and drag on the on the bar here if you prefer. So there's just a few things, uh, a few text channels. They're pretty self-explanatory once you get in. Just different place for builds, some chords. We have an admin chat. Uh, there's an adult lounge for some more adult content, and then these are where you go to use the commands for the um, for the radio and stuff. But we'll touch on that if you really want to use the music stuff when you when you join. So some key things to think about when you join. Uh, this button here is your user settings. So this is probably one of the first things you want to go into. You open this up, and this is what you see. So this picture here, if you click on this, you can change your picture. You just click on change avatar and it will come up with all of your all of your images and stuff that you have and you can just put your images in um, if you wanted to change passwords and stuff. Uh, Nitro is nothing to worry about. Uh, connections, if you wanted to add your YouTube account or your Steam account or Skype or anything then you can, you can sync all your stuff here such as Twitter and Reddit and whatever else um, and you can choose which ones are displayed on your profile and which ones you can sync with friends. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, now these are just all the different settings, and you can go through these in your own time and, and look through. It's just basically what you want to see and what you don't want to see. But the one you really want to go to is voice. So this is this is how I have my settings. So you pick your input device, which will be your headset, obviously, and your output device if you want to hear or whatever. You put your headset in there. Um, you have your input volume, your output volume. Your output volume is your overall sound um, for what you hear. So if I if I move this on 100%, if I put that up to 200%, everybody now is 200% louder. If I feel like everybody's really loud, I can turn that down a little bit more to a voice level that is more comforting for me. And this here is the sensitivity. I have mine on minus 45 decibels. And it, it picks my mic up well, as you can hear, I'm speaking well, and people who who hear you on t on Discord hear you um, based on this. So th the more sensitive it is, the more you're going to pick up heavy breathing and background noise. So try to keep that at a level that's, that's reasonable. This works well for me. And then this input mode here is where you activate your push to talk. Simple push to talk. You pick which key you would like to have your push to, key, push to talk key on and you can have a delay so this basically 20 milliseconds what you have it on as a standard that's completely fine it's just the delay when you push the button when you can be heard so let, just leave that as it is so there's your two options for push to talk or voice activity voice activity is just it picks you up as you speak <clears throat> now once you've done that you just press done and that'll be sorted i'm going to go back into the user settings to show you the rest of the settings that you might want so after you've been on voice, the next one is notifications. Now, this makes sounds quite a lot. So every time somebody joins your your uh, your channel that you're inside of, it, it will make a noise, such as user join here. If a user leaves, it makes a noise. Now you can press these sound things on the side, and it demos the sound so you know what the sound is. If you want to familiarize yourself with, I don't know what all these noises mean, you can get to know, get to used to them here so different different uh, sounds for different things and you can choose to get them off so if you don't want to have a sound every time someone joins the channel you can just take that off there i have mine on um now key binds you've already got the uh, push to talk this is just something different you don't need to worry about that too yet uh, appearance just how you want the discord to look if you want it with a white background a black background more compact i just have mine on cozy and black that does fine. Um, that's really it. That's all you need to really worry about on the uh, on the user settings for basic use. Um, these two buttons besides the user settings are mute and deafen. So if you want to say you want to just make everybody disappear for a second and be quiet because you're hearing something else or you're talking to someone outside of the Discord and you want to hear what they're saying and everyone's being quite loud, you don't have to leave completely. You can just press the deafen and it just mute you and deafens everything or you can just press mute and that just cuts off your mic you can still hear people but it's what I use so 
I don't use push to talk, so if I'm suddenly having a coughing fit or the baby's starting to scream, I'll just push that button there and it mutes me so no one no one hears it. Uh, this this here, your, next to your profile picture, if you click on that, you've got all different statuses. Most people on standard will be online and you can see on the side here people's different colours. So you have orange and green. Um, if, if you're not wanting to get any desktop notifications, you can press do not disturb and that will just mean you don't get any pop-ups or any kind of notifications and then you've got invisible so if you want to be in discord and talk to people but you don't want to be seen on the side because you're trying to be incognito or hide from somebody or whatever reason you can push that there and you don't come us online on the side i'm going to leave mine on do not disturb while i make this video so let's look at this side list and show you what this is this is just your your list of people who are in the server so you can always see who the admins are up at the top and these are the people who are online or have discord open so let's take snowman for example i know snowman's not on he's in bed at the moment he's there because his computer's on and he's he still has discord open and he's down there in the afk room and then you look at knuckle and Rainer. they both also have discord open similar to how they used to leave teamspeak on but they're not actually in the room because they disconnected from the server completely but they still have their computers on and they're still connected to discord hence why you can see them there but they're not actually there as you can see they're not in any rooms so these are the people who are connected they're categorized into the admins pnls people and then you have the mtsh people as well and anybody who's a guest on the server so this is one of my friends who's helped me set up the server he's not in our group um, and he doesn't have any rights or privileges on the server but he's showing us online because he has connected to the server before so once you connect to the server you're always in unless you get kicked or you choose to leave and anybody who's offline so these are the people who have already connected as you can see we've got quite a few people who are already coming on and talking on here so it's well worth coming on and talking to us we have a good laugh on here as well just the same as TeamSpeak really um, what else can I show you how to uh, how to change the notifications so there'll be sounds on the notifications so every time someone types a message I'm just gonna test so that will pop up for you you'd hear a noise and you might get if your if your browser if your browser's closed you'll get a pop-up in the corner telling you the pain train has message test so uh, if you don't want that some people some people do like that you have to right click up here where it says pin ls or you can right click on the on the server on the side they're both the same and you can do what i did and press server mute which just mutes all the all the pop-ups and all the binging and bonging every time someone sends a message to the chat which can be quite a lot if there's all a few people online and then notification settings is something that you want if you go on here you can choose which which of these chats these are the different chats that we saw at the top which ones of those you want to mute or whatever I have a whole thing muted but if you take that off so you can choose to mute just the messages uh, you can choose just to get notified for messages um, you can choose to only get notified if someone mentions you and, and tags you in a message um, so let's say you have all messages or you could go in more in depth and say okay look I, I don't want to hear anything from the general chat I don't want to hear anything from the coach chat uh, from from the from the from the build chat, but I would like to know if someone puts any chords down, or you might prefer to have mentioned. So I'd only like to know and get notified if somebody mentions me in any comments. So you you could have it set up set up like that if you prefer. Um, I'm gonna put mine back to how it was because I like it just muted completely. If I want to see something, I'll look for it. And you press done when you sorted those out. Um, one thing to that's really important is about leaving so when it comes to leaving if i'm here in a room let's say i'm in that chill room now now you would think perhaps if you just press the x in the corner that you're gone but you can see the discord isn't open i've closed it but i am still there in that channel and if there were people there i could still hear them and you would still be able to hear me talking because it doesn't actually leave it just closes the closes the app there you go see and reopen and I'm still there talking so how do you how do you leave the server so simple there's a button here for disconnect you push that and now it takes you out of all rooms I'm not there at all but I'm still online and still have discord open so I could 
go into my friends' channels or or do whatever I wanted on other people's servers. Um, you don't want to uh, disconnect from the server entirely because when you leave the server, you leave it for good and you have to be re-invited. So these people here have just disconnected normally. If you leave the server, you leave completely. You, you are not belonging to that server anymore. Um, I can't do it on mine because I'm, I'm an admin, but I'll show you on, on a different server so I'm not admin on. This is this is what you will see on the server. Notifications, privacy, and mutes. If you press this one here, you leave the server permanently and you have to be re -invited. So don't click that one. That's not how you leave. You disconnect from that button that I showed you. And then your Discord will come up here in the bottom of your uh, of your of your bar show hidden icons is where they usually go you click on that and there's a little discord app so you right click and press quit discord and that 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 gets you out of discord completely it signs you out in effect if any of you have used skype it works like that so you have to quit skype before you leave otherwise you're always running it in the background so it's a good tip there for how to leave now when you download this app it's going to automatically open when you load up your PC or laptop if you don't want that you right click on the discord app here and you uncheck this box run discord when my computer starts if you don't if you don't then it will always open I like mine to open when it when my computer loads some people don't want that they like to open it when they want to use it so I think that's about the basics um, there's not an awful lot more to to really say without overcomplicating things for no reason. Um, I hope you like using Discord. Um, I find it a lot better than Teamspeak, and I'm hoping that people people enjoy it and can be comfortable using it. Um, I mean, there's so many features like we we here me and Mega were talking earlier and showing some videos to each other, and you can just literally watch them. It's just posted the YouTube link, and you you don't have to open the link and open your browser. You can just watch them in this discord app um, you can post comments and stuff you can post pictures and when you you know click on it to open it bigger click behind the picture to close the picture um, you can scroll up and see all the historic chats so everything even from before you join the server it's all saved there um, which is really good for for, ta for chats like the builds and the code so if you're not online you're not gonna miss them if you're really into something um, Another thing probably to talk about, this box here, which is where you type to people. Uh, if you want to message someone directly and get something to them, you can hold shift and get your act. And then you see a list of names here. If you start to type somebody in who's not there, so let's say Raina. Raina's not on that list for me, but if I start typing her name, it comes up. And I could do that. And then... Uh, give her a pro style message and uh, she'll get notified for that because I've tagged her in it so if she has that setting where she gets notified then that works so different ways that you can do that as well you can right click on them and press mention and it will it will mention them in there just like that uh, you can right click on somebody and you can message them directly you can even call them and have a one-on-one -on -one private conversation away from any of these rooms. It's just you and them. Um, you can add a note to their name. So I might say uh, play BP at nine in case I've got a, a small memory. So if I click on her now, it says play BP at nine. So I know at nine o'clock I'm, I'm doing that with her. Small little things, but nothing really too much. Uh, if you click on someone's name as well, you can also message them direct from here and just message them like this. Uh, you can view their profile. So you can, if they've got any synced things, any synced servers, mutual friends with them, um, any of like mine, you can see my, my YouTube and stuff. Just small little things that make it a lot, a lot more user friendly. Uh, you can also see what game people are playing. So here that you can see that this guy is playing Rainbow Six Siege. It doesn't work for Battle Pirates because it's not really a game as such. It's a it's a browser game obviously. So any other game like Mega was playing Rust earlier, so he said Megatron playing Rust. So you can see who's playing games and maybe jump on them games with them. Um, 
volumes are probably something important. Uh, if if somebody is coming across really loud or really quiet, because sometimes people do, um, you can right click on their name and they have a user volume, so you can turn that all the way down if they're being really loud, or all the way up if you can't hear them, and you can do that very easily. Put that back on 100. Damn it! Why can't it go on 100? In 99 it is. You can mute people if they're really annoying you and you don't feel like talking to them. Hopefully, you wouldn't need to use that, but it, that that's pretty much all all the basics there. Um, I hope it doesn't sound too complicated. I might have done my usual and made things over complicated for no reason. I just wanted to be quite thorough with it. Um, but most of it works exactly like TeamSpeak. So for those of you who have used TeamSpeak, there's no difference really. It just looks different and makes different noises. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, then ask us um, the good thing about here is you can always see who's online because they'll have the green so I can see cookie monsters online he's not gone idle so whereas knuckle rainer and snow are idle so he's obviously online doing something at the moment he has his PC open so if I wanted to message him that's a good indicator that he's there and he's gonna respond so you could always ask questions and ask on the page and stuff like that hopefully it helps and uh, yeah see you later